All right, so what I've done is that I've configured my um, VLAN working off an edge router, um, SFP, and also using a Cisco SF300 um, 24 port manage switch. I have three um, VLANs. I have VLAN 2, VLAN 3, and VLAN 4. Um, and it's going off to a uh, uh, Unify access point. So what, what you'll notice is that I have configured um, VLAN 1, um, giving off a, or providing a different DHCP address. Um, and VLAN 2, which will be for staff, um, giving off a different DHCP address. And you can put as many as these as you want. Uh, if you take a look at the VLANs that I have present, I did three VLANs respectively, um, and they all belong to a switch um, zero. So it's a VLAN um, switch 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and each has a different um, set of um, IP addresses with subnets. Then this was linked off to my Cisco switch, and I know the, the lighting is a little bit bad. Linked off to my Cisco switch on port 24 which I have um, trunked so that it can track the um, tagged um, VLAN to where it's going and then coming out of port number 8 which is also trunked and hooked on to my unified access point um, that way my clients can see um, two networks one for staff and one for guests and when they connect to guest network it is a separate network so then the computers and guests don't get to see the computers on V, on um, sorry, on staff, right? So it's just the next level of um, network separation. Of course, it helps with traffic and um, security.